My name is Dave Lemons, and I'm a Builder Solutions Architect with AWS. Today we're going to talk about how you can expose CDK-generated resource identifiers to your React or other front-end application. As you're building a Cloud Development Kit or CDK application, it will generate stack outputs that correspond to specific resources created in that account. For lack of a better term, let's call these resource identifiers. Some examples include API gateway endpoints, Cognito user and identity pool identifiers, or other application parameters needed for the front end. Here we can see a quick example of the type of data we need to deploy for our front end application. In this video, we will demonstrate how you can use CDK custom resources to copy these stack specific resource attributes into Amazon S3 during the deployment process so that they are available to your web application. We'll focus on React, but this technique could be used for any JavaScript application framework. We'll follow an API gateway URL endpoint from creation in the CDK all the way through consumption by the front end application. Let's start with an overview. First, we'll start by creating a REST API in the CDK. Second, we'll show you how you can use custom resources to create a front-end config.js file in S3 with our REST API endpoints as a parameter. Finally, we'll show you how you can use that URL from React, but again, this also applies to any JavaScript front-end. Let's start with creating a REST API in the CDK. Note, I'll just be showing code snippets and not a complete solution. I'll post a link to a complete example at the end of the video. Here we can see creating an HTTP API. Make note of the Hello World API constant as we will use this in the next step. Next, we'll use a custom resource to deploy our configuration file to S3. So what is a custom resource? A custom resource is a Lambda function that the CDK will execute on stack create, update, or delete. They can be used to add or remove functionality that isn't supported by the CDK. In this case, we're using it to deploy a configuration file to the S3 bucket in an earlier CDK step. You could also use a custom resource to make AWS SDK calls to configure other resources. Here is an example custom resource that creates our frontend-config.js file. Make note of the bucket name, file name, and file content. This is where we use the Hello World API constant to access the REST endpoint that was created by the CDK deployment. Now let's look at a small snippet of the Lambda custom resource code that actually writes the S3 file. Note how the properties passed into the custom resource are used for the bucket name, file name, and the content of the file. If all went well, we should have the following file deployed to S3 and available to our front end application. So how do we consume that file in our front end? Let's take a quick look at some example HTML and JavaScript. In our index.html, we are referencing the front end config.js script. And here's an example of an API call which references the endpoint. Today we demonstrated how you can use CDK custom resources to copy stack specific resource attributes into S3 during the deployment process so that they are available to your web application. To see a complete example of this in process, please refer to the Amazon Connect Global Resiliency Project and the following link to dive deeper on using custom resources with CDK. Thank you again for watching.